Hi everyone, I haven't posted an update in a while because everything has been so crazy. And um, I spent a bunch of weeks in the States trying to get my visa approved for moving to Portugal and that was approved. You know, I still have more appointments and lots of hoops to jump through, but the worst of it is finished. And I'm just up for a walk, but got, finally got my, you see him? Luca, come here, oh, good boy. I got my dogs to Portugal, which was another huge endeavor. And um, yeah, it's just been a lot. And, and every day I think, oh, I should post something about this. And, and then I think, oh, it's so banal. Nobody wants to hear that. But I think that's kind of the point of doing this type of like vlogging on an adventure such as restoring the abandoned farmhouse in Portugal that I bought. So um, I'm gonna try to post more regularly even about the banal. If you can see behind me, that's a huge kiwi. I guess they're kind of like a weed here. I'm just really taking the dog for a walk and marveling at the fact that pretty much everyone here uses their land for agriculture, at least in the area where we are in Portugal. And it's such an amazing, like refreshing difference than where we were in the States, where we were surrounded by people who owned huge plots of land that they didn't even use. It was either like a vacation home with a huge yard and they were never even there, or they live there, but they don't cultivate it at all and they just mow it like a lawn. And we just, it was painful for us because we didn't really have access to land there because we couldn't afford it. And then <laughs> here's all this land just going, you know, to waste. So that's, a, that's kind of today's observation. You can see here, this is just a field behind the neighbor's house. And, uh, and they're growing all sorts of stuff, their own food, namely. Um, lots of fruits and vegetables and olives and um, they came over and brought us a basket of plums, which was really cool and uh, Yeah, and then here behind me. Can you see them? Sticking up over the fence are bananas and one of the things I love about this area is it's this cool um, like microclimate where You can grow bananas and citrus, but you can also grow apples and plums and peaches and uh and all sorts of vegetables it's there's um most places i think on the planet it's kind of one or the other uh in terms of being able to grow temperate foods or being able to grow like the subtropicals but here for some reason you can grow everything and then especially where we are on the south face of this little this little mountain um in a little valley and there's lots of water and good humidity and it still cools off at night in the summer so um we just, it's a huge huge agricultural opportunity and i'm really looking forward to getting deeper into the garden so i will post some more stuff maybe a little tour or some more stuff about the garden soon and um i look forward to your feedback and i'm gonna maybe send out this update in an email newsletter and stuff so if you're not on my email then please join my email newsletter. HeatherJoeFlores.com is the best place to find me. Okay, bye.